Heather Lake is in Escondido now with a look at some of those experiences. Heather. We are at a place where you can learn all about birds and a lot of types that you wouldn't normally see just flying around San Diego. So we've got Hillary Hanke here. She is the founder of Avian Behavior International. This is a special one. Okay, so tell us who we have here. So this is Teacup. She's an East African crowned crane, and she's got about a six-foot wingspan, and uh, she's she's trying to look and see if she can get up here. She's, yeah. Um, she's watching her wingspan here. Okay. I know we're um, kind of in the way. I'm like, what's going to happen? Woo. Yeah. Cause she, it's like almost as tall as you are, exactly. right? Exactly. There we go. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah. It's interesting how she knows her surroundings so much too. You've been showing me so many different birds and you said you have about 30 here. How did this place all get started? So we started in 2013 and it was, again, it just was all about flying birds. And so, um, we opened up to like our tours uh, in 2015, 2016, and it's just been as, has been an evolving sort of passion project from there. Just you yeah. know, letting the people show me what they want to see and what they want to experience. I feel like you're very brave to kind of have the sharp beak going at your hand like that. But uh, you obviously, I don't want. I said I don't offend you, but is there a such thing as like a bird lady, kind of like a cat lady, where you just they don't seem like they're cuddly, but you have kind of figured out all their personalities and have created these kind of relationships with them so to speak they're easy to love for me they're they have tons of personality they have yeah. tons of character and um you can just kind of tell like what they're what they're gonna do just by like their little movements and so for me it's just like always been hello uh, it's always <laughs> been something that i just absolutely love to be around here you girl she's got like an appetite over here she's like don't show me one of your oh <laughs> Don't show me one of those fingers. I'll give it a try. Yeah. So do people come out here and like, do they get to pet the animals? Yes, what, what's the do. experience? Yeah. You want to pet her? You can pet I her. I mean, kind yeah. of, but yeah. I'm a little bit you like. You can just pet her right okay. there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's take a look over here. Oh my goodness. And see some of the other birds too, because you said there's so many different types yeah. to see. Um, you have a kookaburra, which is one of my favorite, because right. they kind of laugh at you when you yes. laugh at them, which oh, yeah. cracks me up. So he is a, he is a ham. And one of my, our guests' favorite things to do is like to tell him a joke. Okay. And then he laughs along with them. <laughs> Even if it's like the worst dad joke, they're yeah. laughing with you. I love that. Okay. Oh. Hello. <laughs> so here's the deal. If people want to come out, get up close and personal experiences. Are you okay? Totally taking the show. Yeah. If anyone was in a bad mood this morning, this will definitely help them out. All day today, all you need is a little bit of a giggle. It's like laughter therapy. Uh, if you want to come check this out, you get up close and per personal connections with these birds. They have tours that you can reserve online, foxlivesandiego.com. Click on the scene on tab. Ready? I cannot get enough of it. All right, that's going to do it for us out here in Escondido. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio for now. I love animals. Walk all day long. Still